N-A. Features large adjustable wings. A minifigure cockpit with top and front access. Opening rear storage hold and dual spring loaded shooters. Includes four minifigures, TIE pilot. Imperial ground crew. Imperial shore trooper and a rebel trooper in indoor outfit. Weapons include a blaster pistol. Blaster rifle and a double-barreled blaster E-22, measures over 2 inches 6 centimeters high. Play out iconic sky battles with the amazing TIE Striker. With large adjustable wings, minifigure cockpit with top and front access, an opening rear storage hold and dual spring loaded shooters at the front, this amazing model is the perfect opponent for any rebel starfighter. Includes 4 minifigures. Review, out of the Rogue One sets I have, U-Wing, this, and Krennic's shuttle, this is probably my favorite. The price is amazing, I got it for $50 on Amazon, and when completed, it's obvious this thing was fair at its original price, if $70. So if you're on the fence, I would wholeheartedly recommend buying it while it's still $50. This thing is a solid build, and is huge. At first I was weary, because I had no idea what this thing did, even after seeing the movie, but apparently, according to Wikipedia, it isn't an atmosphere fighting vehicle, like the equivalent of a jet fighter. Pretty cool. The figures were amazing though, my favorite being the Scar of Sand Trooper, who has a specially molded helmet, a different sort of gun, with the Marvel type gun and binoculars making it up. There's both printing on the legs and torso. Next is the ground control guy, with batons and everything, and the real only cool thing about him is his helmet. Once again, he has the distressed stormtrooper head, as every other stormtrooper does. Then there's the imperial pilot, who's a nice addition, since he is, to my knowledge, a new variant of the old one. Finally, there comes the rebel, who to be honest wasn't really needed. He's practically an Endor trooper in a tan uniform. The ship itself is amazing. I dislike the cockpit seat, which is like the first order tie. There is no interlocking parts, and practically no way to keep the minifigure secured in a seat. That being said, the cabin is very long, for a TIE fighter, and has a secondary area, which has a communication device, like a radio set, a gun, and binoculars. This is all pretty well hidden. The wings are gigantic, and there are levers that can switch them from a down mode to the mode like the ship is pictured in the box. Overall, this is a great build, and IT definitely recommend it, 